All right, here we go again. Subway scene. This is what we got so far. And it's time to add another prop. I'm going to build a locker. I'll put a couple of lockers here and we'll see where else we can place them. Now I'm going to be using booleans. We're going to have n-gons, but it's going to look fine. All right. Um, I'll probably just use a procedural texture for, for that and for many of these pieces. And uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so here is one way to build a locker. Bring in a plane. Bring it down here. Rotate X90. We'll get the screencast keys going if they're not going already. There we go. Okay. All right, let's just get the approximate size of this thing here. Imagine a person sitting there. Okay, I'll go for something like that. So I'm gonna focus on that. I'm gonna set the origin of geometry and shift S, cursor to select it. So there's my piece. All right, maybe we'll make it a little bit thinner. Okay, so I'm gonna hit E to extrude, I'm gonna pull back, and I'm gonna hit, select that one, and select similar length, and that'll get all of them. Control B, pull, and roll my mouse up so I got a good number of segments in there to curve that off. That might be a little bit too much, actually. So let's uh, calm down a little bit. All right. Probably did pretty much the same. Uh, shift Alt and click those edges in Control B. And just give a few segments there. Okay, if I shade smooth, you'll see. Now I may have some shading issues we're gonna have to deal with. Let's come into the back though, and uh, select that. We can try insetting as long as we don't overlap. That looks okay. Push it in. So as you can see, we have shading issues right there. We're not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, so, so far so good. Now we do have, this is a big end gone. All right, but it's flat. I'm not deforming it, I'm not animating it. Um, and just using procedural textures, if we do that, and not just an ambient occlusion uh, clay render. Okay, anyways, from the front, let's bring in another plane. Scale it. Rotate it. And bring it up and out a little bit. Look from the front. And let's get this to the approximate size that we want. I'm going to have three holes in here, relatively large holes. Okay, press one to go into vertex selection. I want to bevel this. Uh, this is going to be the cutting tool. Uh, Shift Control B, pull, and I want maybe five dots. It'll be like that. Five vertices, really. Extrude it back right through. Okay, so it's going to create a hole right through there. Okay, add the array in the Z, bring it down, get rid of the X. And I want three of these. And that's going to be just fine there. Okay, good old fashioned Boolean. Select my main front of the locker. Boolean, one difference. Use the eyedropper, select those, and it'll go nuts. That's okay. We'll deal with that in a bit. Okay. Now, this is because we've got uh, smooth shading. We don't have shading here, etc., etc. All right, so as you can see, it's created some crazy um, connections, but we're not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna shift alt and click the outer edge. And we're gonna try to bevel this and see how well it goes. It's going okay. Some of the shading has been corrected. We have a little bit of, of light there. What I'll also do is I'll come in in face selection number three, Shift Alt and click there, there, and there, and I will now go Control Plus until I get to the end of my bevel. If I go too far and I get the main face, I'll just go Control Minus. Right click, shade smooth on that. Now there's more that I can do on this, and I will soon. All right, so let's not freak out yet. So I got my holes. Before I go any further, let's in Edge Selection Shift Alt and click. Uh, one of the, these edges that's the same 
you know, size is the locker. I don't want to choose like this one. I want to create the back part of the locker. So I want an edge that's nice and big. Same size as the front, shifty. Pull it back, P to break it out. So I've got that. Edit mode, E to extrude. Let's make the approximate depth here. Okay, so I got that. And at this point, I'm gonna go just go, uh, I guess I'll go E and S, come in a ways, and then scale in the X to make it kind of even. And I'm just gonna go F to make a face. And so I've got that. All right, now I'm gonna grab this edge, and I'm gonna bevel it, Control B. Just to round that off. Let's Shift H and focus just on this. Now I'm gonna come in, I wanna go E and Alt S, and I am going to pull down. To make some thickness and I'm going to grab I think probably both of those edges control B and pull a little bit of roundness I can take that and shade smooth now I may have some shading issues down here what I'm going to do first of all select that back and control plus come out to there and I'm going to shade flat on that I think and if that's not good enough I will put an edge loop there and control B and I will pull it out, push that back, roll my mouse back to zero though, and I will do that. And that's going to be just fine for that piece. It may not even be long enough. I'm going to look from the side. Yeah, I think it's not quite deep enough. Consult H to bring stuff back. Let's focus just on those shift H. Okay. All right, more work to do on this front piece though. Let's um, bring in another plane. Let's scale it. I'm gonna make like a keypad you know, that you would use to enter it. Enter the locker, enter the dragon. Want it like that, I think. One, look from the front. I'm going to make a curve. Uh, Shift Control B, in other words, bevel. I'll go for the usual five. I extrude it back a little bit. And I just want this pushing in. I don't want it to go all the way through. All right. So select that. Boolean difference. Select that. Apply, take this, and I might use this actually later, so let's just move it there, let's hide it. All right, looking pretty ugly, but let's see what we can do if we didn't go through. Okay, let's see how well I can select this and see if it will allow me to bevel it as is. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Okay, now, doesn't look so great. I just really want the indent. Now, what I would tend to do here, you can do a couple of things. You can touch this up, and I'll show you how. And that helps. You take the knife tool, press C to come straight across and do that. Knife tool, and then hit space bar to complete. Okay, we've got an issue here. So, let's try it. Straight across. And do that. We're going to come on the other side. Okay, with that done, shift alt and click all of these. Maybe not this one yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. X dissolve edges. Now, I can come in here and if I, you know, I can move this if I need to. It's really not going to cause a bit of a big problem. Um, I mean, it's not going to be noticeable at all. And on this guy, I can do a similar thing if I want to. And I'm just doing this on the front face. I'm not, it's not going all the way through. 
Let's try getting rid of these. Let's zoom out. Sometimes you get rid of these and it'll flip these back. Okay, now. That gives us slightly nicer uh, faces to deal with. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to select this whole front and I'm going to shade flat. So I still, it's still nice looking. And I got this. Now, did I shade smooth on this? So let's select that face. Control plus till we come out to the bevel. Shift and click that to deselect it. And shade smooth on that. There we go. Let's bring that piece back that I had. This guy right here. Okay, I want to use this guy. Um, I think I do. Well, let's try it. Let's uh, control B on this to do that. Let's get rid of that back face and pull this up. It's not quite so deep. Let's pull that in. That's going to be all right for what we want to do. And what we want to do is bring in another plane and create some buttons for this. Let's put a bevel on this of um, two or three. Maybe that's good enough right there. I mean, it's stylized. It doesn't look all that realistic, but that's okay. Hold Shift to move in smaller increments. Shift D, and just copy them down. Mm, and apply. They all have the same bevel, so I can just join them. And uh, yeah, and maybe I'll even um, scale in the Y. I don't need them to protrude that much. Just a hint of something there. Now, um, I may have wanted more room to, to, for a little handle. So I'm going to select both of these and go into edit mode. And just see if I go into wireframe, if I maybe would want to uh, scale this down. So I could do that, and I could do this. Yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, let's come in here. Let's select that edge and bring the cursor there. And then we'll bring in another plane. And 
then I will take these faces here. Maybe we'll E and scale in the Z. Make a separate piece. Let's see how that looks with a bevel. Let's go in, Alt N, we calculate outside. Any problems with our uh, polys? And we'll just put an edge loop in there, I'll tame that. Sometimes you gotta do that. 0 0.05 for the bevel. So if you get a piece that you don't like, you can always do this. And just select the right edges. That's nicer, isn't it? All right. So let's get rid of that. So that's the handle. Is it too small? my locker. Now, I'm going to take all these pieces, right click, move to collection, new collection, and this is going to be locker F, locker, for, locker front, and this one, locker front and back, I guess. So that I can do some stuff with this if I want to. Okay, let's come down here. Let's move it out a bit. Just want to make sure we're not right. Okay. Cool, so we got that. And then what we can do is we can easily, I can just grab this stuff pretty, pretty easily. Let's have a look at uh, the floor. Let's not have it hovering. Let's copy that over. thinking for one of these we'll have the door in a weird position so I've got two of them obviously so what I'll do is I'll just grab these ones like this and let's rotate this in the X like this pull it out Rotate it in the Z. And 
do this kind of thing. Okay, and I can uh, I can extend this out. And this. suspicion alt n recalculate outside yeah some of my polys were flipped so let's take a look at this one notice how dark it is alt n recalculate outside and there we go and that's a little bit better and i think i think the rest is probably okay this actually maybe let's go in alt n no that stayed the same so those are some lockers and I'm not certain exactly where I'll put everything, but uh, let's, uh, let's select something else, like select that. We can move the orange dot. Now, there is actually one other thing I wanted to do, um, which would require, yeah, yeah, I, let's not forget. Let's uh, hide the front. <laughs> we need shelves, don't we? All right, before we forget that, let's grab this and bring it down. Let's scale this in the X. Let's extrude it down. Let's grab this face, pull it back a little bit, and let's grab these edges and Control B. But let's just put, say, one like that and uh, what we'll do is we'll take this and control L and look from the front and we'll just copy it so it's it's still part of the same model let's put it there select the whole thing and let's alt n calculate outside just in case and we now have that and um, maybe I'll delete this one take this one and uh, Bring everything else back, okay. <laughs> Let's take this and uh, shift D, bring it over. In fact, I want to do something else in here, so I'm wondering if I can adjust this whole thing. If you were there. All right, that's okay for a moment. I want to build something right here, a flashlight, real quick. Shift S, cursor selected. Shift A, mesh, circle. We'll go for, um, I don't know, 18. Okay. I don't want it to overlap. 
Oops, so just let's roll it down. Let's just put one. Control. Probably control one would have been enough. Um, and now just a few edge loops. it all all ten move that over here yeah let's see it flipped a little bit I don't know how much that looks like a flashlight I hope it does a little bit I might put it on the top shelf and we'll move it over um let's focus just on that look from the front and come in, put an edge loop there, control B. We're gonna hit ID and set. I'm gonna extrude out. And then an edge loop here. two and extrude them out and just uh, another couple edge loops Let's do that and then let's uh, deselect. Oh boy. Turn off subdivision surface. Select those two, control plus a couple times. And maybe we go around. And maybe we'll take this stuff as well. I just want that switch like thing down a little ways it just looks a little bit better to me I'm just wondering if I want to do a bit more work on this flashlight sitting in there okay now is it better there okay. and maybe, maybe what I do is I take another one and I bring it up here but we do something different with it like uh, I think I, uh, before I do anything I'm seeing some discoloration and I'm wondering all ten yep you see to do that see it looks almost like burnt <laughs> so select it all 10 we calculate outside there okay anyways this guy I was thinking uh, maybe we rotate this somehow rotate Y90 let's do that 
how's it look inside? I think we need to turn it the other way. Rotate the Z like that, so we don't really look see inside it too much. Let's just rotate it like this. So I don't know if it makes sense up there, but I'm right, gonna do it too bad poly wise. Something flipped in there. These two, just to be sure. See the way this one. See if it's sometimes if it's too too light. Oh, I got the buttons. Or if it's too dark. Okay, let's just watch it. Alt in. It changed just a little bit. Maybe that front face. Maybe. Uh, select something else. Select that. And shift C, get the three cursor out of there so we can so we can see. Well, I can turn off old ways. So yeah, that's what we got so far. So yeah, a lot of people aren't gonna like the fact that I did this with Booleans, but it looks just fine if you're careful where you need it. So if a flat surface and all you're gonna put on is maybe a metal texture with some noise, it's gonna be alright. Alright? So that's what we got so far, and we'll do some, some more work uh, very soon.